What is up everybody? It's Jack Daniel and today on Honest Reviews, we are reviewing the world's smallest USB mic with onboard sound and multiple pickups. The Go Mic from Samson. $29.99 at Best Buy. What you get in the package is the microphone on its little stand, a lovely little zippery case, zip zip, and about three feet of cord. Now, if you think, hey, well, that's not very long, well, that's because it's not meant to go far. The idea is this is a microphone designed for your cell or your laptop. And what would happen is if this was the top of your laptop here, is this clips on to your laptop. It can clip on your phone. Uh, you would need an adapter for the cable to use it with your phone, but I'm certain it would probably work. It's plug and play. Also, on the bottom of the stand here are four feet, which is pretty neat. Because this is heavy metal. They did not slouch on the metal here. It's all metal. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about this mic a little bit. Also, if you'd like to hear this microphone, in the description is a link to my podcast, which I did on this mic, the first two episodes, and also anything on SoundCloud from this date prior uh, musically was recorded with this mic. Um, they're just throwaway songs, so sort of, so that's why. But from now on, I'm not going to be using this anymore, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So, I bought this a year ago, probably, and I've had it, you know, whole time. This mic failed on me probably three months into the use, okay? But if you think about that, that was 10 bucks a month, um, that, and I got heavy use out of it for that 10 bucks, believe me. <clears throat> but I... I talked to Samson about this particular mic to tech support heavily. Um, not just tech support, but they're actual engineers that developed this mic. Because what happened was, uh, there was a noise, much like this noise you may hear in the background right now on my fridge. Anyway, in the mic itself, there was a hum like that. You could hear it in the headphones. It came through in the recordings. And so I thought perhaps maybe this cable was bad, and perhaps it was, but the mic itself is bad, probably due to shipping damage, you know? It's, if you own this, be gentle with it. It comes with this case, but that's so that you can put it away in this case and then into somewhere safe, and then it would work great probably. The mic itself, before it failed, uh, even with the hum, which if you buy one of these and it hums, take it back immediately and replace it. If you get a second one in Hums, buy a different brand, man, for real, but I don't think it'll happen. They said it it probably is unlikely, and I've used a lot of Samson products, and they've all been lovely, and this was the only one I ever had that had failed. Also, when it failed, they had no problem replacing it. They said if I kept the box and the receipt, I could replace it nice and easy through them. They would have swapped it right out. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So let's take a look at the mic itself. This is the front of the mic, it's metal. The back is metal too, it's painted black so you know it's the wrong side. On the side here you have the input for the cord, right? And then of course, onboard headphone monitoring, which is really the miracle of this product. So if you were doing Zoom calls or something, you could hear it if you're making a podcast or even like the songs that I've recorded with it you can use this just like you would a, a, a Yeti mic or a high high end mic and you're $29 in and it really doesn't sound bad and it, the minus 10 DB is good if you got a little room noise or if you're too quiet you can switch it to this omnidirectional and it is hot so when this went let me tell you what happened when this stopped humming. One day, this stopped humming, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's a miracle. How cool is that? It was a really quiet hum, and I got rid of it with a noise gate, so it wasn't a big deal. But 
when it went away, I was super excited. But then I noticed if I had it plugged in, I could snap this loud and it would make the light clip. And if I put it in omnidirectional, it really would make the light clip. Just talking at this distance, which I'm, I'm about 18 inches, two feet away from the mic, it would clip out. And so I was really displeased with that. So, but they told me that they're pretty certain that's all some sort of defectiveness. There's a wire crossed in here somewhere and the whole thing got messed up. And so that's why mine failed. So you shouldn't have that problem. And as you can hear on my recordings, there's no hum in the recordings when you listen to them. And the mic sounds great. Um, so the con is that at the price point, you may get a defective mic and have to replace it. That's the only con I can see because Samson is a really reliable product and they will replace it. Now, I didn't replace mine simply because I had thrown the receipt out because it was $29.99. I thought, well, I could just buy another one, you know, and that's the case. What I did buy was a JLab Talk, the middle range Yeti style JLab. So we'll see what that's like later. But um, to continue with this, this is absolutely the best product you could get in this price point absolutely absolutely now for ten dollars more right now you can get the jlab talk go from best buy 39.99 so maybe that is a better feature for some people but this i'm telling you if, if you take care of it and you make sure to pay attention when you first plug it in is it humming yes trade it out get a different one but um if you get a good one and not a defective one like mine this thing is amazing and it clips right on the top of the the uh, laptop or it screws in to uh, a boom mic arm which I don't have my arm here right now it won't make it here till tomorrow so sorry but it holds on the boom mic arm like that or um, like you can see here because it's such heavy metal and the mic is so light even though it's really heavy made too it holds it just fine and it can just rest on the table which is pretty neat because you could put it in omnidirectional mode set it in the middle of the table like this and have one person sitting here and you sitting here and you can talk and have it all be recorded which would be good for a teleconference or something like that I mean really for conferencing and stuff this cannot be beat as long as you don't get an effective one but I mean if you want to save yourself an extra trip to the store bring your laptop with you buy it, open it in the store, tell him I watched this guy's review and he said these fail sometimes and I wanted to hear if it hummed. And if you hear like a noise in the background in the headphones, it's no bueno and you need another one. And you could do that in your car in the parking lot and know right away whether or not you got a good one. So that being said, those are the, the pros and cons of it. it. Like I said, go in the description, you can listen to my podcast. You could listen to the music that I made on SoundCloud. I'm not going to guarantee that neither the podcast or the music is any good, but you can judge for the recording quality for yourself. Obviously, on both the podcast and the um, music recording, I do add, you know, like limiters and there's um, some EQ adjustments going on, things like that. But I would say that if you're using a, a microphone for recording, that's going to happen all the time. Unless you're just simply trying to get a voiceover mic to do um, casting or make phone calls, which this will rock your world for that. Um, if you watch, uh, if you watch my videos, you can see sometimes they'll be super quiet, and then there'll be videos like where you can hear them really good, and those will be the ones where I have this mic on. Sometimes I'm lazy and I just turn the video camera on, like right now. But I'm three inches away from my video camera, so you should be able to hear me hopefully. Anyway, so. That's my review. If you like that, you know, do all that shit everybody tells you to do. And my next video is going to be about my Nord N10 5G phone from HTC. I have to have it replaced because it also has a defect, but it's not a big deal. And the process is going to be really painless for me. So I'm excited to share that with you because this phone rocks. And I'm going to show you how much it rocks. And of course, lucky for you and unlucky for me, <laughs> I managed to get a defective mic and a defective phone. So there's that. 
I'll also be reviewing that talk by J Lab. So stay tuned for those. And thanks for watching.